Hi there, V gang. How are you doing? It's a girl, V Morty, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming through to my channel, I'd like to say thank you so much for coming through. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And if you're a regular subby, welcome back. Hey, welcome back to yet another episode on my channel. On this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you information that you need to know in order for you to study in Turkey this 2021. If you're interested in this, stay tuned for more. I'll be right back. <laughs> from providing education opportunities at an international caliber as well as a wealth of knowledge and experience Turkey offers scholarships for international students to study all over the world to study at the most prestigious universities in Turkey Turkey scholarships are government funded competitive scholarship program awarded to outstanding students and researchers to pursue full-time or short-term program at top universities in Turkey Turkey scholarships aim to build a network of future leaders committed to strengthening co cooperation amongst countries and mutual understanding amongst societies. The application deadlines are from the 10th of January 2021 to the 20th of February 2021. So make sure to hop onto this opportunity. You do not want to miss out on it. It is open to international students from all over the world. It's not just only financial support that comes with the Turkey scholarship. There's also tuition fee, accommodation health insurance, university placement opportunities, social and cultural facilities at all levels of higher education. Programs are open for undergraduate, graduate, PhD programs, so everybody has an opportunity to benefit from this. There is a website that I will write on the screen, you will see it. Applications can only be made individually, and there's a website that I'm going to put on the screen that you guys can go and check out. I'll also link it down below. That's how you apply. There's no need for an agent, there's no need for a third party. You can do it by yourself. It's so simple. It's just a matter of providing your information and sending it to the Turkey government portal. When you're on the system, make sure to read the instructions carefully so that you do not make a mistake because once you send it you can't change the information that you have submitted all documents must be submitted and uploaded onto the portal any applications that you're going to courier or send via post will not be accepted or you're trying to deliver by hand make sure to do as instructed by the website the applications are free of charge don't be fooled by people telling you you need to pay some money in order for you to apply for this it's absolutely free you just need to fill in your information that's the most you need to do so all you need is a laptop Wi-Fi and time your documents together get them scanned and send them through the portal the scholarships include university placement and scholarship application at the same time so you don't need to apply for a university placement at another university you will need a valid national identity document or a national passport photo a recent photo of yourself the candidate that being you national exam scores that means depending with what level of study you are at whether you're an undergrad whether you're a master's whether you're a PhD level applicant make sure to provide provide adequate information as to which level you're coming from. So if you're a bachelor student and you're coming from high school, you need to provide final high school grade. Academic transcripts are also very important, so make sure you have that. In the event that they do ask for JMAT scores or ILTS, depending with what exactly you're applying for, make sure that you actually provide that information. For PhD students, you need to also provide a research proposal. There are four levels of this scholarship. The first one being preliminary assessment, whereby all applications are reviewed based on basic criteria, such as minimum academic grades, age limit, required documents, Number two is shortlisting. Applicants of eligible candidates are carefully reviewed by expert committees based on a broad set of criteria including academic standing, previous qualifications, academic interests, career goals, consistency of choices, clarity of letter of intent, participation in social activities, etc. Thirdly comes the interview. Shortlisted candidates are interviewed in more than 100 countries by an interview committee which includes academicians and experts. And then fourth part is the selection period. Interview results of candidates nominated by the interview committee are evaluated by a selection committee and a list of candidates to be awarded a scholarship which are formed. The application criteria includes a minimum academic achievement of 70%. That's for bachelor's level, a minimum academic achievement of 75% for master's and doctorate degree applicants, a minimum academic achievement of 90% for health science applications. 
You need to be under 21 years in order for you to apply for the undergraduate program scholarship. You need to be under 30 years for the master's program. And you need to be under the age of 35 for the doctorate program. This is eligible to students from every part of the world. So this is open for international students, basically. However, if you're a Turkish citizen or you lost your Turkish citizenship, but you used to be a Turkish citizen, you can't apply for this. So yeah, guys, this is all the information you need about Turkish government scholarships for 2021. Make sure to hop into this opportunity because it's absolutely amazing. They're paying for everything. And every single month you get a stipend for you to be okay. Apart from the accommodation that they're providing for you, it's a really good deal. And if you're lucky, you can also get to work for the university that you would have applied to. So make sure to hop onto this. It's an absolutely phenomenal opportunity for you young academicians out there who are looking for opportunities to study abroad. This brings me to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you in my next upload. Let me know what you think about this video. If you have any other video requests, please do let me know and I'll gladly do a video about it. Alrighty guys, I'll see you in my next upload. Lord, God bless. Bye. Mwah.